Hi folks, today we have with us a light meter also called as a lumen meter. We will be reviewing this product on uh, how it performs and uh, how, the, how it serves the basic purpose of finding the lumens are emitted out of a light source. Now this is the basic packaging of the uh, product. It says over here it's a light meter. And this is the model number of the meter. Features are high accuracy, wide measuring range. We'll have to test it out. Automatic measuring level uh, selection. It is a kind of a multiplier which uh, suppose if the lumens increases above a certain multiplier, it directly calculates the multiplier. You don't have to set the multiplier as in a multimeter in those like in those uh, selection multimeters automatic measuring range is calculated that is the thousands multiplier maximum and minimum measurement is something like uh, suppose uh, a light source varies from 10 lumens to 20 lumens so when you set it to the maximum uh, maximum anything which is above that particular lumens only will be measured nothing less than that if it is set to minimum then what is the minimum amount of lumens produced by that light source will be measured we will show a demo of that Lux and FC selection. Lux mostly uh, lumens is measured in lux. So um, usually anything, any uh, bulb or uh, uh, you know any light source, any any battery operated torch, flashlight, anything will be giving the intensity in lumens. Not nothing more than that. Data hold is to hold a particular reading. If you are moving, if you want to capture a reading and record it, uh, some kind of thing. Automatic data recording is, I think, is not working on this model. Uh, we'll have to check it out. Okay, so turning the product. Uh, here are some of the model numbers which are available and there are particular features which are present or absent. It's a kind of a checklist. Okay, so our model is HS1010. Okay, so the measuring range is from 2000 lumens to 2 lakh lumens. Okay, so this is a basic model which is available. Then there is the, there's the upgraded model 1330 which can measure from 20 lumens up to 2 lakh 20,000 lumens. Lux. Okay. So resolution is the is is better in this model, but in our model it is just one lux. Okay. So the accuracy is uh, is slightly lesser. Repeatability is two percent is the same. And so these are the other features. Almost all the things are available. Two AAA batteries. Okay. So. I have bought this meter to for the basic uh, measurements of uh, the light intensity from the power source. Actually, we were doing some projects on LED street lights. So for this kind of a purpose, I wanted a basic lumen meter to measure the. Uh, it is not very. I didn't want a highly accurate model. Anything that would suffice that particular purpose. I would. That's that's the reason why. See now the accuracy over here is. 4% plus or minus 4% I think that suffices my requirement so if you are wanting to go for a higher scientific kind of a, a measurement then I don't think so this this these models are for you okay so these are for basic light intensity measurement okay so now opening the product just open the product over here So this is the basic product so there are around six buttons the mode recording range hold max and power button this is the cover uh, for the 
for the sensor if i open this the sensor is exposed this is a kind of a white ceramic kind of a bulb sensor okay i'll just close it two two triple a batteries have to be inserted to start it so at the back it says press range so measuring range selection long press mode lcfc function automatic data recording parameter setting okay press record press press mode data automatic recording okay press record plus press hold check the recording of data okay so let's insert the batteries we will use the same batteries which we got with this package Okay, so now the sensor is closed, still it is saying 7 lux. Okay, we have a LED bulb which is uh, on top uh, above my head. Okay, so I'll just open this. Right away it says 601. 601 lux so the multiplier is 2000 ok so I press range sorry range so this is 2 lakh so the, uh, multi uh, the, so the range is again uh, increased by an, a factor of 10 100 ok so you can check the difference now this is the auto mode so it is automatically selected under 2000 multiply ok so now if we go right below the uh, light source yeah I think yes this is the maximum I guess so we can hold the reading so it will hold there is a sign which is displayed showing that even if I if I change the position the readings remain the same ok so just let's press hold again and it will again read the dynamic data ok so now go let's go to the maximum uh, reading which we had got ok now this is I think I think this is the maximum it will go so now what we will do is we will press max so what it will do is it will always take the maximum reading so if I go here so what was the maximum which see now it is going to 774 so what is the maximum which is calculated will be held the, the meter will hold that particular reading okay so even if I come here which is having a lesser intensity it still stays because I have selected max so the maximum lumen lux measurement will be held okay so I'll go here see 
see 793 okay so that will that was the max so you see it's not very accurate but still it it does the job that's what i think so i just press max again so now it will hold a minimum reading okay so if i go here this will be the minimum i think we will get to okay now i will go where i got the maximum uh, reading okay over here just below the bulb but still it's it 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 holds the minimum value okay so i think you get the idea of this max thing okay so yeah now it is set to the dynamic range now we will check what was written over here so it says uh long press mode for lux or fc unit selection okay so i'll just uh, long press mode okay so i think it's something related to the recording part of it so okay so data recording now let me it will just press mode and okay so i have to press this button over here so it switches from okay so now it's into the fc mode okay so i'll just change it back to lux okay okay so now i think this long press thing is is quite clear now so going to the fourth parameter press recording plus mode and data automatic recording okay so we have to press the recording and mode together okay so now it's recording the data so let's check it out moving away we will just check the reduction in lumens so if i turn also it changes the lumens reading so okay what does it say here okay so i'll just again press mode and recording okay so it stopped now so now to read the recording i have to press record and press hold okay so i'll just go here press record and and hold So it's giving this data data this thing over here so i'll just okay so just started it again so it clears the data i 
think I could not figure out the recording part of it, but uh, okay, I I don't think so. That I I am not sure if people will use the recording uh, feature of this thing, but uh, that's a that's a discussion for some other day. But I think the basic purpose is solved. I think you can easily and it remains steady. You can see over here. It does remain steady, so it's fairly a good measure of what is the light source, what is the power of the light source. Okay, so I think that's all. That's it, folks. Uh, this is uh, again a technical kind of a video from my side. This was a lumen meter which I had uh, ordered for a specific purpose. So I thought that uh, I will do a video about this because I could not find many much information or in-depth videos or reviews about this kind of a product. So I have purchased this from Amazon and uh, if you are interested also you can definitely you know I'll, I'll be sharing a link below the in the descriptions so you can definitely go and uh, you know buy the product from that link it definitely helps the channel as you must be knowing about it and uh, the other thing is definitely you can subscribe and like this video provide your comments so so as I have mentioned I can improve on whatever I've been doing I would definitely like to hear from you friends. Uh, okay, so that's uh, that's it folks. Hope to see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe the channel. Bye.